All right, everybody, today in Procreate, I'm going to teach you how to make custom texture brushes from an image that you took on your phone or your iPad or from an image that you found online. The first thing that we're going to need to do is find a photo, which I have already done. We're gonna make two different uh, texture brushes today as an example, and I'm gonna show you how to take a basic shape like this and then be able to make a texture brush to be able to color it in like this. So. Once you've found your image that you want to do, you are going to go up here to your brush library. I usually use airbrushing and the soft brush. You can use any brush that you want, but we're going to use soft brush today. We're going to swipe over to the left and duplicate it. Once we've duplicated the brush, we're going to click on that one. Now, we're going to go over here to grain, and then up at the top at grain source, we're going to click edit. Once you're in the grain editor, you're gonna go up here to import and then import a photo. This will take you to your camera roll. And the first image that we're gonna do here is this broken glass that I found online. Once we've done that, imported it, we go to auto repeat. Now you can mess with how this actually will auto repeat as much as you want, depending on how exactly you want it to look. You can rotate it, you can do different grain scales. We're just gonna leave it at the default right now. You can mess with that as you want. So we're gonna go to done. It's gonna create your texture. Once it's created your texture, we're gonna go over here to this tab, texturized. Now we're gonna go over to this slider scale and this is going to affect over here how large your texture is going to be within your brush. So. Right now, that's where we're gonna leave it at. With this depth, it's going to change the brightness it looks like. I'm honestly not really sure what that does because there's another brightness slider right here. So we're gonna leave that one alone at 100%. You can also change the contrast depending on if you want it super, super contrasty or more of a soft brush. We're gonna leave it all just right at default and click done. So as you can see now in the preview, you can see your texture instead of it just being the soft brush. Now we're gonna go on the layer that we wanna affect, which is layer number two. I do have alpha lock on. If you are curious how alpha lock works, I just did a big tutorial on that. I will link it above in the card so you can go check it out if you want. Now we're gonna go down here and we're gonna start to shade and you can see that our texture of the broken glass is starting to appear, which this can be super helpful when you're trying to you know, make your images pop and give a little bit more texture it is really nice to be able to use this. So as you can see, within just a couple seconds, we went from just a flat image to something that has texture and a little bit of dimension. So our second one that we're going to be doing, we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna duplicate it, go back in here, go to grain, edit grain, and then import our image from our camera roll. This time we're gonna be doing this photo of concrete and see what that turns out to be. We'll auto repeat that, click done. It's gonna create our texture. Go over here to texturize, scale it to however we want. I try to kind of get out the seams of where uh, the auto repeat was on and there we go. So there's a nice texture. So now as you can see, we have our second custom brush. It has that concrete texture look right below our broken glass. So we'll select the concrete texture. I'm gonna start a new layer and go below our shape. And I wanna start doing a little bit of background. Um, so we're gonna bring up the size of our brush a bit. And as you can see, we have a concrete texture, which is pretty sick. Change the opacity a bit, bring it up. And maybe we'll throw a little bit of white in there too, but we'll bring down the opacity. And go back to black to blend some of it together. But as you can see, we can take a flat image really quickly with a couple textures and make something really cool. Now, obviously this isn't like a spectacular art piece. This is just for demonstration, but you can see how quickly you can really make your art pieces different and stand out and pop by doing these custom uh, texture brushes. So try them out, mess around with the different settings. Let me know what you think. And if you have like an Instagram where you share your stuff, feel free to leave that down in the comments to share your work with everybody else. Uh, we'd love to see it. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comments. And if not, I hope that this video was helpful to you and that you have a good day. See ya.